The logjam in Parliament continued today for a third day over the issue of the continuing violence in Manipur. The opposition has been demanding a discussion on Manipur can only take place after the Prime Minister makes a statement in the House. Now today, Union Home Minister Amit Shah said he was willing to hold a discussion on Manipur violence and he hit out at the opposition for stalling it. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh also called up opposition leaders to break the deadlock. <laughs> मेरा विपक्ष के सभी सम्मानीय सदस्यों से मेरा आग्रह है कि एक बहुत संवेदनशील मुद्दे पर काफी सदस्यों ने सत्ताधारी दल के और विपक्ष के दोनों ओर के सदस्य ने चर्चा की मांग की है मैं सदन में चर्चा के लिए तैयार हूँ मुझे मालूम नहीं है कि विपक्ष को चर्चा करने देना नहीं चाहता मेरा विपक्ष के नेता को आग्रह है कि चर्चा होने दे और इस महत्वपूर्ण मसले पर पूरे देश के सामने सच्चाई जाए बहुत महत्वपूर्ण पोजीशन दैट वाज एग्रीड अपॉन बाय द लीडर्स ऑफ ऑल द पार्टीज कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिंग द इंडिया फ्रंट Uh, was that they would want to have a debate on Manipur, but they would first like to hear from the Prime Minister. This is one of the gravest crises that our country has faced in a very long time. Now we're looking at a situation which is already bad in one state, is spreading to a second. There could be nothing more important or burning on the dossier uh, before the Prime Minister than this situation. Uh, he saw fit to say a few words to the press on a day that Parliament was in session. He should have been speaking in Parliament. But equally important is that in the parliamentary system, in any parliamentary system anywhere in the world, the Prime Minister is accountable to the Parliament. Also today, AAP MP Sanjay Singh was suspended from the Rajya Sabha for the remainder of the monsoon session amid the face-off in Parliament. Mr. Singh was suspended for allegedly jumping into the well of the house and raising slogans over Manipur and refusing to go back despite being warned by the Rajya Sabha chairman. The Amadmi Party hit out. Look, if the Bharti Janta Party goes, then Sanjay Singh will not put him in jail. Sanjay Singh... संसद के अंदर विपक्ष की बुलंद आवाज है वो नारा लगाते हैं और तमाम विपक्ष के नेता उनका साथ देते हैं जाहिर सी बात है संजय सिंह उनकी आंखों में खटकते हैं संजय सिंह के खिलाफ हर वो षड्यंत्र केंद्र सरकार करेगी कि संजय सिंह की आवाज जो है बंद कराई जा सके and let's now focus on manipur where more instances of sporadic violence are being reported there was overnight firing near chura chandpur and in torbang area a school was burnt down and now another horrific case has emerged from the state which took place the same day that the two tribal women were paraded naked the video which went viral and created so much outrage and anger now in fall on the 4th of may two women working at a car wash were abducted allegedly gang raped and murdered uh, we spoke to the family who has still not come to terms with what happened and even two months after filing an fir they say there has been no action taken by the police no you should come Two young tribal women in their 20s allegedly raped, brutally assaulted at the car wash that they worked at in Imfa. By the time the police reached, they were dumped in a secluded lane near the car wash. They died the same day as after arriving at hospital. So NDTV spoke to the family of one of the victims at an undisclosed location. The distraught families are yet to perform the last rites as the bodies of the two young women are at a hospital morgue in Imphal. With restrictions on movement, they don't know when they will see their loved ones one last time. The victim's mother, who now lives in a relief camp, told NDTV about how a phone call to find her daughter's whereabouts was a spine-chilling experience for her. Do you want your daughter dead or alive? said a female voice at the other end on her daughter's phone tu tung din man he chit dim non ka to he ka lungen zong ka gyal ha thai po ya a tu a ke ho din mona ding hin ka cha zong a thi in na ka in zong ka lo zong a bon an ka hal ha an tun zong um na ding um lovin a dilip kya ma na ka jit ka cha te to ka um mo ve 
According to parents who spoke to some co-workers on the phone, they were gagged and locked in a room by seven men. The women had screamed and pleaded, but their attackers did not relent. Much later, the parents were informed that their daughters were dead. Based on what they heard from the victim's co-workers, they registered an FIR. Holding back tears, the victim's cousin told NDTV that this was the worst kind of violence. Even our place had been burned down. Now our beloved sister is in, whether she is in MOOC or whether she is in somewhere, we don't know till today, we do not find her body. From information, they were in, she is in MOOC. While the police have recorded statements of eyewitnesses, no arrests have been made so far. More than two months after the parents filed a complaint at the Saikul police station in Kangpokti district. The police say there are two FIRs in the case. One, a Sioux motor FIR by the police after the death of the victims in Imphal and the FIR registered by the parents that allege rape and sexual assault based on eyewitness accounts. According to sources, a co-worker has indicated that there were women who encouraged the men to sexually assault the two tribal women. When questioned about the delay in arrests, the police say no accused have been identified yet. There is uh, no evidence of rape so far and the investigation is in progress. The families say they don't have faith in the investigation of the police that could not protect their daughter as violence engulfed in Fal on 4th May. News now from Rajasthan, where there were dramatic scenes in the assembly today as recently sacked Minister Rajendra Singh Gudha was marshaled out. This after he took on uh, Chief Minister Shok Gehlot and tried to present a red diary which he claims can be politically explosive. He has now been suspended for the rest of the session but claims Congress MLAs tried to snatch the diary from him. The BJP hit out claiming this clearly shows something is wrong. Dramatic scenes in the Rajasthan Vidhan Sabha. Rajendra Gouda waving a red diary at Speaker C.P. Joshi. Sacked from the Gehlot government on Friday, the former minister and one-time close ally of Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot insisted on placing before the House a red diary that he claims is politically explosive. Gura claims not only was he stopped from tabling the red diary in the house, he was also marshaled out and attacked by Congress MLAs. So what exactly does the red diary contain? According to Rajendra Gouda, the Red Diary was at the house of a close Gehlot aide who was being raided. On the Chief Minister's instructions, Gouda claims he went and retrieved the Red Diary which has the potential to damage the Congress as it allegedly has details of payoffs made to save the Gehlot government when it was in danger. In the political furor that has followed since, the BJP has taken the lead in attacking the Congress on the issue. Is Lal Dairi ka rehez se kya hai? Isko aap Rajasthan ka pratyek vyakti janna chahta hai. Rajendra Gouda has now been suspended from the house for the remainder of the session. सारी की सारी जो ये लाल डायरी वाला किस्सा बताया जा रहा है ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ मिलकर के ये षड्यंत्र रचा गया है सब सब फैब्रिकेटेड बात है सारी फैब्रिकेटेड बात है इट कुड बी द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ अ पॉलिटिकल थ्रिलर द रेड डायरी 
But what led to a fallout between Ashok Gehloth and one-time close ally Rajendra Gouda is now speculation. When Sachit Pilot revolted against Ashok Gehloth, it was Gouda who supported Ashok Gehloth. And now, how much will Gouda damage his one-time mentor is something that is going to be keenly watched. With Virendra Singh in Jaipur, Harsha Kumari Singh, NDTV. The Supreme Court today put on hold for two days the survey by the Archaeological Survey of India at Varanasi's Gyanwapi Mosque. The Mosque Management Committee had approached the court with apprehensions that the survey could lead to a violation of existing laws. The top court has now asked the Mosque Committee to approach the Allahabad High Court at the soonest. A five-hour ASI-led survey at Varanasi's Gyanwapi Mosque and then a two-day stay by the Supreme Court. This after the Gyanwapi Mosque Committee approached the top court over the survey ordered by the Varanasi District Judge on Friday. The Mosque Committee told the Supreme Court the survey may lead to excavation at the mosque complex, which would mean a violation of the existing law that asks for status quo at places of worship. The Archaeological Survey of India then told the court via government lawyers that the survey will in no way alter the structure and stressed that not a brick has been removed nor is it planned. The Mosque Committee approached the Supreme Court explaining to them that they had little time to seek relief as the district court's order was passed on Friday evening. The Supreme Court agreeing to the Mosque Committee decided and requested them to approach the High Court at the earliest and state the order till Wednesday evening. We have asked them to reach our story that you can reach it for one day so that we can go to the Supreme Court and we will be able to do it. We will do it in the same way. We will do it in the उन लोगों ने वादा तो किया था कि आपकी ये बात ऊपर पहुंचाई जाएगी क्या हुआ क्या नहीं हुआ हमारी पूरी लीगल टीम हम लोग हाई कोर्ट पहुंच रहे हैं और उसका पुरजोर विरोध करेंगे मैं मैं से इतना कहना चाहता हूं कि ज्ञान व्यापी का सच आर्कियोलॉजिकल सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया से ही निकलेगा द ज्ञान व्यापी मॉस्क हिट हेडलाइंस इन 2021 आफ्टर अ ग्रुप ऑफ वुमेन अप्रोच्ड अ कोर्ट इन वाराणसी टू परमिट ईयर लॉन्ग वर्शिप ऑफ डीटीज इन द मॉस्क कॉम्प्लेक्स a lower court then ordered a video survey of the complex during which an object was discovered that a section of people claimed to be a shivling. The mosque management committee however said it was part of a fountain in the Vazu Khana or the place where hands and feet are washed before prayer. Keeping the sensitivity of the issue in mind, the Supreme Court had then ordered the sealing of the pool or the Vazu Khana. On the road that leads to the iconic Kashi Vishwanath Temple and Gyanwapi Mosque Complex, there was heavy security for the four hours uh, that the, Gyan, uh, that the Gyanwapi Mosque survey was conducted. Uh, the Supreme Court then of course stayed it. So any further action on the survey front may only happen in a few days, at least after Wednesday evening, till when the Supreme Court stay is in place. In Varanasi, with Himanshu Sharma and camera person Rajesh Gupta, this is Alok Pandey, NDTV. In other news now, the Hyderabad police has unearthed a mega fraud ring involving Chinese handlers in which at least 15,000 Indians, many of them techies, were duped of over 700 crore in less than a year. People were lured by an investment, come part-time job scheme and asked to do simple tasks such as liking YouTube videos or writing Google reviews and were paid for completing them. Police say the money was routed to China via Dubai and some of it was also sent to an account operated by the Lebanon-based terror group Hezbollah. The complainant uh, software professional had lost uh, 28 lakhs in, in this investment fraud. This money actually is through cryptocurrency is moving through Dubai to the main uh, uh, brains behind it who are sitting in China. We have their names too. The crypto wallet called Trans, which is used by this Prajapati, has transferred the money to Dubai-based operators. And that account is having transaction with two, three other accounts, which have linkages with the Hezbollah uh, terror group crypto wallet account. 
Spain appears to be heading for politi political gridlock after right-wing parties failed to clinch a decisive victory and no clear winner has emerged from the national election, leaving pro-independence Catalan and Basque parties as potential kingmakers. After winning the most seats, the Conservative People's Party will be given the first attempt at trying to cobble together enough votes in Parliament. clear winner emerged in a nail-biting finish to Spain's election as the right failed to fulfill predictions of a victory big enough to push Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez from power. With 100% of votes counted, the opposition centre-right People's Party had 136 seats in Parliament, while Sanchez's ruling Socialists had 122 seats. Both were short of the 176 seats needed to govern. The parties with the greatest potential to be kingmakers were nearly even, with far-right Vox on 33 and far-left Sumar on 31 seats. Now the two leading parties will seek to negotiate coalition deals in pursuit of a governing majority, but analysts warn the process could end in a hung parliament and another election. Nuestra obligación ahora es que no se abra un periodo de incertidumbres en España. Los españoles hoy nos han dado la confianza en el Partido Popular y también han dicho a todos los partidos del arco parlamentario que dialoguemos. Como candidato del partido más votado, creo que mi deber es abrir el diálogo para liderar desde el primer minuto ese diálogo y para intentar gobernar nuestro país de acuerdo con los resultados electorales, con la victoria electoral. A toda España, porque hemos demostrado al mundo que somos una democracia fuerte, una democracia limpia, una gran democracia. Aquellos que planteaban el machismo, el retroceso en derechos y en libertades, han fracasado en el día de hoy y el bloque involucionista del Partido Popular con Vox han salido derrotados. Somos muchos más los que queremos que siga España avanzando, a que siga el camino del retroceso marcado por el Partido Popular con Vox. Así que España, españoles, españoles, españolas y españoles, compañeras y compañeros, somos más, muchos más los que queremos que España avance y así seguirá siendo. Buenas noches. This result means that Sanchez went from likely outgoing premier to a potential contender to form another government. It also all but torpedoed the prospect of a far-right party taking part in another European government, as pollsters had projected with the PP and Vox coalition. Lack of a clear result has cast a shadow on Spain's current presidency of the European Union Council and risked unsettling markets. But while the Spanish public woke up to an inconclusive result, one thing was clear. Spain has, for now, bucked the trend of far-right parties making their way into government across Europe. Parmeshwar Bhava for NDTV. And finally, Twitter's logo changed to X from its iconic bluebird symbol, marking the latest big change since Elon Musk bought the social media platform for $44 billion last year. He even shared a picture uh, with X on the Twitter headquarters. Now, Musk has repeatedly expressed his ambition to develop a one-stop shop app, and this step takes him a step closer to creating X, what he calls the everything app. The bird has flown the coop to be replaced by the X. No more tweets, you'll be writing Xers. Twitter is entering Elon Musk's Xverse with Musk wanting to reshape it entirely. Threads will have a hard time catching up. With an audacious vision to create the all-encompassing X, the everything app, Musk has taken the first step in that direction. This is a typical Musk move, reflecting his determination to challenge traditional norms and redefine entire industries. The obsession with X can be traced back to 1997 when Musk launched the X.com, the precursor to PayPal. As his companies have the X factors from SpaceX to Model X to the Tesla car to even naming his children with the letter X. And now X.com takes you to Twitter. In 2017, Musk brought back the domain X.com from PayPal and experts say his reasons for buying Twitter was to fulfill his dream of creating the everything app inspired by apparently the Chinese WeChat. 
At present, WeChat has roughly 1.6 billion monthly active users. Twitter has 330 million. While the decision to rebrand Twitter raised concerns among some advertisers about potential damage to their brand's reputation, the company's chief executive, Linda Yaccarino, dispelled these fears by asserting that X, the everything app, offers an unparalleled opportunity. She emphasized that the platform's revolutionary capabilities will deliver everything, making it a unique and highly promising branding endeavor. This includes payments, a global marketplace, and more. She stated that it is an exceptionally rare thing to get a second chance to make another big impression, yet the company is doing it in a bigger and better fashion.